so this has been my bookshelf one of my bookshelves um it's not really organized and i also have two little space for my new books so um I bought a new bookshelf, which my husband put it together. So now I want to rearrange some of my books and then film a bookshelf video. Because so far I just didn't like how it looked. And um, yeah, it would be nice to make it a little bit more organized. So at the bottom of the bookshelf, we have the Stephen King books. Uh, because I love Stephen King and I collect uh, these books. So I think I'm going to dedicate this shelf mostly for Stephen King books and I'm going to organize um, all of the Stephen King books in that bookshelf and then if I have space left maybe I will also add some other horror books which are for now in here most of them not all I do have here some horror fiction and yeah a little bit of like thrillers and weird books like this one this is not really horror but it's also it's very difficult to categorize it in a genre um so yeah maybe i will put these horror books uh also in the new bookshelf but mostly it will be stephen king because now it's on the bottom shelf and i uh <laughs> i think it deserves a better spot and then i can rearrange other books that are just all around the house and not in a bookshelf so yeah i will show you the end result later and then you will see an updated Stephen King uh, collection that I have. So it took me some time and I'm still not finished. I have a couple of books to uh, rearrange, but most of the bookshelf is done. And today we're only going to focus on the Stephen King bookshelf. So I'm going to show you what's on my bookshelf, which books I have. So my whole uh, Stephen King collection. On the top, we have a new series that I just have bought. It's still in uh, plastic. And it's the Dark Tower series. It's in English. I have um, I got it from my husband as a present. And I really love it. Because now I have the whole series in one edition. And yeah, it's just... it's. I think it's very beautiful. I have not <laughs> opened it yet. But I think I'm going to start reading it soon. Then on the second shelf, we have the Mr. Mercedes trilogy. Or the Bill Hodgkin, Hodgins trilogy, I think. It's the actual title, but I call it the Mr. Mercedes trilogy. So I have this a special edition case, which I really like. And it's also still in plastic because I have been reading a couple of years ago uh, these ones. I have read the uh, Miss first book, the Mr. Mercedes. I really, really liked it. And this one is in Dutch. So it's the second one as well. Uh, but I didn't finish it, unfortunately. So I still have to finish the second uh, part. And I still have to read the last uh, book in the trilogy. And then I have here two newer books of uh, Stephen King, Billy Summers and Fairy Tale. Have not read them yet. <laughs> and other uh, more recent books. And these are ones in Dutch. Uh, and these are in English. So this is my favorite book from Stephen King of all time, Pet Cemetery. And I have read this one in Dutch, but this is the, the one that I have bought on the book fair. Uh, and it's in English, a pocket edition. And I really liked uh, the cover. It's always falling, so I hope it will uh, stand. Um, yeah, but that's one of my favorite books. Then we are going to the lower shelf. And this one is all in English. Some of them I have read. So this is just a companion, Stephen King companion. I really liked it. Uh, it's quite old, I think, but <laughs> it, it does have some uh, interesting stuff in it uh, about the books and about Stephen King's his own personal life. And I, I've read a little bit in it, not a lot. And then uh, one of my favorite short story collections, Night Shift. This one I have read. And I have also somewhere the Dutch edition. The Stamped, I have not read it yet. Dance Macabre, which is a non-fiction from Stephen King. Still have to read it. Carrie, I did read it uh, last year, I think. Um, also quite a nice edition. Most of my books are uh, paperbacks because I don't really like to read hardcovers. I do have some hardcovers, this one, for example. Yeah, and more recent one, The Outsider. I have not read it yet. <laughs> and then I have also the Bachman books, the Richard Bachman books. 
and this contains four novellas or four short stories. Uh, it's a thrifted edition that I have. It contains Rage, which the, is not printed anymore, as I understand, but also the Lombok, Road Work, and the Running Man. So, um, yeah, quite a nice pockets book. Um, and of course, my It figurine. Uh, I have also bought this one at uh, the book fair. And here's my copy of the It. So I have read it, I think, also last year uh, for the first time in English. Uh, it was very good. I liked it. And yeah, I really enjoyed this book. However, this edition is starting to fall apart, but it's fine. Then uh, the next shelf. I have to, oh, well, yeah, I am going to sit down for this one. Um, so this is Firestarter, but then in Dutch, uh, Oog van Vuur. I don't really like this edition. I have read it also recently and um yeah it's not my favorite book of him um and i don't like the title ogen van vuur is like eyes of fire which is um yeah <laughs> they should just keep the original title and then i have here the dark tower in dutch uh it's not complete i have book one two and three but not four and then five until seven um, and this is the stand, also in Dutch, and um, yeah, everything is eventual, also in Dutch. And the Bazaar of Bad Dreams. Yeah, so this is all Dutch books, and uh, the series is not complete, but I think I'm not going to complete it in Dutch, because um, yeah, they're all different editions, and I have now the complete series in English, so that's fine. Then we have some uh, Dutch editions, but also other languages that I have from Stephen King. Uh, this one is The Green Mile. I want to read The Green Mile in English, so uh, so far I have this copy. I kind of like the cover, but I have not read it. I have started The Green Mile um, years ago, but never finished it. Then we have the Bachman books again, but then in Dutch. At first I wanted to get rid of this copy because I have it in English um, and it's quite big. I do like pocket books more, but um, it's something about the cover. I, I I like to keep it. Then here I have uh, Skeleton Crew and I always forget that I have Skeleton Crew. I have not read it yet, uh, which contains The Mist, the story uh, The Mist uh, that I really like to read. But in Dutch it's called Duistere Krachten, which means dark powers. Uh, but it has nothing to do with Skeleton Crew. <laughs> So I always forget that I have it. Um, I've not read it yet. Then we have Joyland. I have read this one. It's quite a nice story. It's not his best book whatsoever, but I really uh, enjoyed reading it. Uh, I think in the summer last year. Then this is uh, Gerald Game, which also has a different title in Dutch, um, Spellbreaker. And I also have Gerald Game in Russian. Which does keep the orig original title, Igra Geralda. Um, and this one is from my mother. So um, I really love these uh, books in uh, Russian. I have a couple of them. So this is Do My Key in Dutch and Desperation. These editions are quite big. I don't know why they're so big. <laughs> and I think all of the Dutch copies are like this. So I don't know why, but they're very, very large. And this is... Russian editions that I have. So this one contains, they're quite old. <laughs> Let me see. So this one contains the dark half. Uh, only dark half, yeah. But I think it has the cover from Salem's Lot. So the it's a wrong cover, but um, yeah. And what is this one? Ah, this one is also Firestarter, if the cover is correct. And also, it's, this is, contains Firestarter and Dead Zone. So, yeah, two books in one. And this one do not have a cover. So this is the Langoliers. And I think Kujo, uh, because the title is also very different in Russian. And also Secret Window. So three stories in here. And this is Dinner, Jerusalem's Lot, and... 
pet cemetery so i do have pet cemetery in russian as well but uh yeah these are just the ones that i really like to have but i have not read them um this one is in german which is the second part of the mr mercedes series finders keepers finder loin <laughs> von der loan i think and i bought this one and thrifted because i bought it to read something in german and i thought why not Stephen king oh that was pet cemetery that fell on me again <laughs> So this book keeps falling. I don't know why. Um, maybe it wants to be read. So uh, yeah, I was reading Finders Keepers in Dutch. And I wanted to read something in German. So I bought this one. But uh, eventually I didn't finish both uh, versions. Then we have Cujo. Um, really interesting book. So different. Because it's kind of a possessed dog. But also not entirely. Because the dog has rabies. It's weird. You kind of feel like the dog is possessed and not just having rabies. And I enjoyed the characters in here and how they interact with each other. It's like your typical Stephen King book. I uh, I really liked it. But it has been a while since I've read it. I think now three years ago. Something like that. And I really like this edition. This cover. Uh, again, a pocket. This one is in Dutch as well. Uh, however, they kept the original title and I just, I don't know, I like the cover. It's simple, but it's nice. And then I have a non-fiction, which is Stephen King's on writing and some of his like biography or memoir, um, which I've also read. I really like this book. So, putting everything back now. Joyland. And Skeleton Crew. I like how this uh, shelf turned out. So I put this pile, a book already on the pile that I wanted to donate uh, to the tr thrift shop. But then I picked it up again and put it here. I don't know what it is. Maybe the lettering. But um, yeah, I kind of like this book. So I'm going to keep it like this. And then Pet Cemetery. Hopefully it wouldn't fall. <laughs> so we're at the bottom, the last shelf in here. And this contains all Dutch editions that I have, except for this one, which I recently finished a, a couple of days ago. Um, but um, this one is in English. However, it's not Stephen King's book. It's Richard uh, Gismar, but it's uh, with a foreword of Stephen King. And this is the second book. However, the first book is written with Richard and Stephen King together. So I put it in here. I've read the first book as well, but um, I read it on my Kindle or my Kobo at that time. Um, so I don't have the um, physical copy. So yeah, I quite enjoyed this book. It's it's nice. It's simple. Not uh, it's a simple story. Um, I enjoyed the first book more because it had more depth to it. But it was a fun read. Then here we have Salem Slot, and I have read Salem Slot on my e-reader as well. So not a physical copy, and I have. In Russian and in Dutch, <laughs> the book. Um, it's not one of my favorite books, so I'm not going to buy it soon. But if I see a nice English edition, I will buy it. Um, for now, I have the Dutch one. Um, then we have Christine. have never read it. I did enjoy the movie. But especially when I was a child, I liked watching uh, Maximum Overdrive and Christine. So this is the Dutch edition of uh, Night Shift. <laughs> However, it's called Satan's Children. I don't know why they chose this title. Uh, but this is the copy that I have read. And then um, it was like maybe six years ago that, I, ago that I read this one. And then I bought Night Shift uh, and read it again. And I, at first I was like, I'm reading something that I know. Why, why do I know the stories? But then I realized that this was Night Shift and it says in small letters here night shift but i never figured out that this was the my dutch copy of the night shift and then with the first story i was like oh i know this one and then i read it in english again so this is a road work i have this uh story also in the bachman books then i have a second desperation this is the pocket version i have not read desperation so far so um i don't know what to expect <laughs> Um, then uh, my, uh, my cabre liefde, my cabre loaf, 
macabre, macabre, I don't know, I don't know in English. Um, but uh, this is Stephen King, Ramsey Campbell, and Stuart Kaminsky. So these are short stories about love uh, from these writers. Um, so I put it on my Stephen King shelf. Then we have Stor Storm of the Century. I uh, have not read it yet. The Shining, my copy of The Shining. Um, it's quite a nice edition. And I have read this one. I want to reread it in English because I really enjoyed this book. Um, so, yeah. Then we have my copy of The Pet Cemetery. The cover is okay. I, it's not It's not my favorite. And I like when they keep the original title, like this, Pet Cemetery, and then put the, Germ uh, the German, the Dutch title um, in small lettering. Then I have a copy of Secret Window. And then last uh, here in, in the Pockets editions, I have Misery. I really like this one as well. I've read it, I think, in 2020. And I would like to reread it in English as well. But I really like the cover here. So I'm definitely keeping this edition. And in the back, we have the older books that are, again, those Dutch large editions. We have from a book eight which also have a different Dutch title, um, The Secret uh, of the Boek. Then we have uh, Arde Donker Zonder Sterre, which is this one. I have started reading this one and uh, I really liked it, but I never finished it. And I, so I, I think I need to reread the entire book because it has been years ago that I have read it. Uh, then I have another... Uh, Bachman book, which is The Regulators. Um, then I have Just After Sunset uh, in Dutch, but I also own it in English. And uh, Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. I have started reading that one, but I really didn't like it. So uh, that's uh, it's a book that I'm not going to finish, I think. Then Hearts in Atlantis. Um, Dinner, I think. And... Four Seasons and Dreamcatcher. So those are all of my Dutch editions. And I thought I would have enough space for even maybe more books uh, from Stephen King. But yeah, the bookshelf is almost full. It's actually full. And um, I have too many Stephen King books. <laughs> and it's not even all of them. So, yeah. It's, it is a small bookshelf. So maybe that's it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching this collection. And I will do a full bookshelf video uh, on all of my bookshelves uh, in another video. Because I have now this one. Uh, this one. So two. Uh, I have another one behind me. Uh, which is totally on order. So I'm not going to film it. <laughs> And also one downstairs, so four bookshelf in total. But I hope you enjoyed this collection video and um, yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye.